So here I have the, let's assume this is going to be the bodice, you can see. I'm going to assume this is going to be the bodice of the fabric. So this is the front part and this is the wrong part of the fabric. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just create a center point. Um, so if you're making a shirt, um, just get the center point exactly where you want the pocket to be. That's why I fold this gators right here. You can see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is, this is a fusing. This one I'm going to put at the center point. So if my pocket is going to be uh, at um, a total of 4.5 inch. So I'm just going to cut out 3 inch for this. So my pocket is going to be a total of 4.5 inch. So here I'm going to cut out 7 inch for the interfacing. I believe you guys can see that. So I'm going to place the interfacing in between the in between the gators here. So this is the back part. Don't forget this is the right this is the right angle and this is the wrong part of the fabric. I'm going to go on my interfacing through here. So if you're making it on a trouser or on a shirt as well, this is the very first thing you're going to do. You can see that. So here is where we're going to put our pocket in. So here I'm just going to fold this into two. Get my gators back. You can see that. I'm going to get another center point here. So here I'm going to divide my 4.5 into two. Here will be. So here is where I'm by pocket is going to be. This is the total of my pocket. You can see that. So here I cut out two of this, two fabric. This is the right side. And this is the wrong size side. This is what we're going to be using for the turnover of the welt pocket. So I'm going to be adding my fusing to the edge of this. Okay. I'm just going to cut this into two. Now I have one at this edge. Make sure you're gum in the right the right side. Okay, this is the gum part. You see that? Cut this out. And here also is the Okay, here is the wrong side. So I'm also going to add the gum to that side as well. So you can see that. To cut out this. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mark out my 4.5 here. So just get your center point. You can see. And divide your 4.5 in this one as well. This place in between. Let's use a chalk on this side. You can see what we have here. So the width of the pocket, I want it to be a total of half of an inch. Half of an inch. So here I'm going to just place in my, so half of an inch divided by two, that would be like quarter. 
So I'm going to place in my quarter here. Mark my quarter here as well. I'm going to mark my quarter here as well. So I'm going to join it together. So this is the part that I'm going to stitch. You can see that that's the part that I'm going to stitch. Also here, I'm going to do the same thing. This one as well. Just marking. Marking. Calculate your quarter. Quarter. Let's join it together. So after stitching, the total pocket is going to end at half of an inch. You can see that it's going to end at half of an inch. It's not up to one inch. Let me zoom that in so that you guys can see clearly. You can see it's not up to one inch. It's going to end at half of an inch. I don't, there's a gap in between here. The fabric is not balanced. It's going to be at half of an inch total. You can see. So that is that. So here this is what we're going to stitch together. We are going to add in our going to add in our so you guys can see so let's go to the sewing machine to do that right away okay so i believe you guys can see this don't forget we already had our our interfacing to the back of the fabric just assume you're making a shirt or you're making a trouser so this is the step you're also going to follow as well so here just make sure this your two start points and your eight points are on the chalk as well. You can see that. And I'll start my first stitch at this point. Okay, um here. Just to clarify, this would be the upper part. This will be the up of the fabric or maybe the trouser. So this side is going to be the up here, will be up, while this side will be down. Are you getting? So you don't forget that the upper part is where our our button tack is going to be. So here, let's push that straight down. Okay, so here as well, I'm going to make a stitch here. So here, I already fold in my, you can see, just cut a straight fabric and series straight, just like this, then you're going to fold it into two and iron it down, just like that. So this is what we're going to place here. Just at our center point, you know, we already did the gators, we already fold this side. So at our center point, we're going to place in this, it's going to, okay, it's going to be like this. So you can easily and you can start a stitch from here. So you can see that let's cut out this excessive part from here.
Okay, so after that, the next thing we're going to do is this. We're going to cut out the edge. So you can see that we're going to cut out this edge part. So just make an edge in between. When I get to like around up or one inch, I'm going to make it that here. And in this place as well, I'm going to make it that here. So on this other side too, I'm going to make it that. So when we turn this over, you can see. Let's turn this one inside here. You can see there's something I want you guys to pay attention to during this process. We have this so far, so I'll take you guys to the ironing table so we can I'll take you guys to the ironing table so we're going to iron it, and I'm going to show you guys something very important. You can see what we have so far. So here, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my time to give it a thorough ironing. can see that so after that the next thing I'm going to do is here this is the lower part this will be the one that will come up I'll just push this side upward make sure this your overlap come down this part is very important make sure this is your stitch here this your SS stitch here is outside of the Outside, outside of the pocket cover. So here, I'm going to make a cover as simple as making sure it comes up a little bit over and give it a thorough ironing. You can see that a good ironing. So when, in, when we turn this to the front, you can see what our pocket looks like. I believe you guys can see that. So the next thing you're going to do is very simple. Get your scissors and push this first inside. Push it inside very well. Make sure it goes inside. After this is make sure you push in any excess thread at this point. This place has to come out very, very clean. Make sure you push in any excess thread. We're going to take a time to give it a total ironing as well. You can see that. This side also. Push it inside. So if you're making the trouser, you're going to do the same process. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. I'll turn the camera. Okay. So this piece, push it inside as well. That is a total ironing. Yeah. I believe that's as clean as possible. So here, this is what we have. So far, so far, so far, so good. You can see that. So the next thing we're going to do now is as simple as 
clone it over again. So here, after you iron it very well, you can easily turn it over just like that. Simple. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stitch our pockets. We're going to stitch it and make a circle. So let's go back. Oh, I don't know why the focus keep running away. So let's go back to the sewing machine and do the stitching part. So here, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run a stitch from here. Just make sure this thing here, let me zoom in very well. You can see this particular head here, make sure you're stitching it to the borders first. Important. You can lift up the borders. You can measure what you want the pocket to be from inside. Maybe you want it to be like five, six, seven, ten, and you can make it four. That's it. Let's make it four. At this point, at this side as well. Let me zoom back. So at this side as well, just lift it up. Push this one also. So, so far, that's all we have. I'm just going to trim out this part. And if you're making it on a shirt, you can easily weave it round. I'm going to weave it round. So here is what we have. We're going to give this a pearl ironing. We still have a little bit of. I'm just going to push that side in, push it in, and attach, attach your button to this side. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to stitch the upper part. Going to stitch this upper part. Make sure your stitches are straight and clean. So, this is what we have so far, so good. You can see. Just touch the button. And we have our pocket as neat as possible. Just put in your pocket, attach your button to the side. So that's about it on how to make a welt pocket with a button strap. How to make a pocket, a welt pocket with a button strap. So that's about it. I'll see you guys for my next video. Peace.